We have more single women in our, the early 30s that are the most depressed, suicidal, anxious, lonely in America's history because there's a biological clock that's going off and they realize that they're not going to be able to have kids. Today, we're going to check it out. Charles Keck explain why liberal women are miserable. Guys, if you're new here, if you are interested in this kind of content, do sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Guys, let's get straight into this. Men are turning more, uh, we're proven to be more right wing. More, more, uh, conservative, but the women are suffering out here. So I would like to know, um, I'm involved with TP USA, and I want to know what it is that I can do when I'm around women um, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, which yeah. I'm battle born in this battleground state. And I would like to know what I can do uh, to start to change minds with love. And Why do you think women are, are so liberal? You know, it's I, I watched you on the on the, the whatever. Yes, yeah. and it's it's crazy. I mean yeah. I mean it's just it's it's so hurtful to see, you know, how they are sexually and how it's just so you know, okay and I think that a lot of them are suffering and I think that, you know, there's a lot of father issues there. A lot of daddy issues lot for of daddy sure. Issues. Yeah. Um, so look, I, I, I'm not an expert in how to win over young women for conservatism. Um, the biggest thing is this, more young women need to get married at a younger age and start having kids. The, uh, the single woman issue is one of the biggest issues facing a civilization. Yeah. We have more single women in our, the early 30s that are the most depressed, suicidal, anxious, yeah. lonely in America's history because there's a biological clock that's going off and they realize that they're not going to be able to have kids and that they're not as desirable in the dating market or in the dating pool and so they start to lash out on the rest of society so date like you're gonna marry i guess that's gonna well be yeah just get yeah. married early like stop reject the siren song of modernity and have lots of kids Absolutely. like being a partner at a local law firm actually isn't that big of a deal having three kids is a really big deal and will make you happier and it's okay to be a stay-at-home mom in fact we need a lot of stay-at-home moms and a lot of women want to be stay-at-home moms and we have miserable women because we've been shuffling them into a corporate wasteland when in reality a lot of them don't find a lot of passion or fulfillment in that line of work and who can blame them yeah, exactly thank God you. Bless you appreciate thank it you so thank much. you i feel the idea that women needs to end as much as a man is what is causing all this bullshit because I honestly believe that women should earn. Like, I honestly believe that you should have the right to make your own money. Because I, I would always allow people to have this in mind that even if you marry early, you get married, it still might not work. Like, your husband or you, you guys might get tired of the relationship and divorce. Like, how are you going to take care of your children? So I always have this in mind that as a woman, you're supposed to have something you're doing. Don't be unemployed. Like, nobody should be unemployed. Write a book. Do something. Like, try your best to earn money anyway. Because I, my mom actually trained me and my six siblings. So, we were seven. And imagine if she was like, you know, I don't want to be a stay at home mom. Like, she was married. Like, she just got separated. And imagine how was she going to be, how would she be able to do it? Like, just find something to work. Like, I, I'm honestly, I'm in for a woman to be able to work. Even if, in as much as a man should provide, but like, a man who is providing won't allow his woman to just sit there. Even if you open for a boutique or something, like, open something for her so it can be in her name. In case he dies or anything like that, how are you going to continue with your life with your children? No. Because some people feel like you will get the children, like, see, there are responsibilities that come with this, and you're supposed to be, so to have that mindset that you're supposed to be able to take care of these children and bring into this world. Like, you're not just going to bring them and leave them for the government to take care of. You're supposed to be able to take care of your children. Well, guys, everything about us, like, educate me in the comment section if you feel I'm wrong. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.